This is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at a free update to the unwrapping toolbox. I've added a lot of new features to the toolbox, so let's check it out. Okay, so to launch the toolbox, if you have the full script pack, you click this guy here called Unwrap, and it launches this, the unwrapping toolbox. If you're not familiar with this tool, I originally created it as a quick way to interact with the 3D Cut and Sew tool and unwrap your meshes dynamically. Going through that workflow is a little bit out of scope of this video, but I'll just give you a quick demonstration here. Basically, you turn on the checker map, you kind of can adjust the checkers to what you want, enter the 3D Cut and Sew tool, and then you can cut the mesh up however you like and see it kind of update here in semi real time. So basically, you can do a double click to cut an edge. So let's say I'm going to cut these edges. Sure, cut that edge, whatever. I'll cut this edge here. You can do a drag and click and then cut those edges there. And then the cool thing is, as you're cutting stuff here in 3D, you can click the unwrap button and it's going to give you a preview of what that's going to kind of look like. So we need another seam here. So let's get like that guy and I don't know, sure that guy. Let's get a big edge like here. Click it again. So you can see we can start to interactively unwrap stuff and kind of work through it that way. And some people prefer this workflow over kind of memorizing how the UV tools work because you can kind of kind of interactively kind of see what's going to happen. So like let's add the edge there and click again, see what happens. And then what's really cool about the tool is that I made this unwrap button repeatable so you don't have to kind of go back and forth between the tool each time. You can just press the G key on the keyboard to repeat the cut. So for example, you can see here the yellow thing's all messed up because it has no way to unfold. So I'm just gonna come here and double click to make the cut and then I'm gonna press G on the keyboard and then boom, see we've got the unwrap there. But uh, it's looking kind of nasty. Maybe we need to work on that some more. So here, let's try this and then just press G again. And so you can kind of work through the unwrap dynamically. The great thing about this tool is that if you make a mistake, you can also sew the stuff back together. So for example, maybe I didn't want this gray one to be separate from this shell or whatever. So you can hold control and do the double click and it'll sew it back together. And then you just need to press G to re-unwrap it. So it's like, oh, maybe I wanted that. Maybe I didn't. G. Oh, maybe I didn't want that one. Double click G. And so you can kind of do it interactively. So it's pretty neat. I have a whole video dedicated to show you how to use the 3D Cut and Sew tool along with all the hotkeys in great detail. And you can come over here to the top right corner. I'll put the link right there. I would recommend watching that video first if this is the first time you've heard about this tool. And I'll also put a link for that video in the description. First, I'm just going to exit the 3D Cut and Sew tool. And right away, you're going to notice this whole section has changed here. I've added all of these little tick boxes. You might notice that the UVs by angle button is now converted to the easy UVs. And so what I've done here that is actually super cool is now you have the easy UVs button. And what this does is it tries to create UVs for you automatically based on a recipe that you decide from these tick boxes here and these boxes here. So for example, I've configured it just to be exactly like how it was in the previous version to not confuse anyone. So you can see I've got the UVs by angle turned on. I've got the default set to 30, and then I've got the auto cut seams button. And so what that's going to do when I click easy UVs is it's going to take these two recipe items and apply it to the easy UVs kind of algorithm. So I'm going to click that and boom, in one click, I've got a full unwrap of my model. Doesn't matter what the UVs are. So here, I'll just put a planar map on it quickly. So there I've got like, you know, unusable UVs and I'm going to click easy UVs. And it's going to go boom, it's going to give me those in one click. And what that's done is it's taken all of the normals of the object. So I'm just going to turn off the checker map so we can see what's going on here. And I'm going to click the hide edges button so we can see. So it's going to take the normals of the object and set those all to 30 degrees. And then it's going to cut the UVs along that and it's going to unfold them. It's going to spin and scale them. And it's also auto going to cut seams down the cylindrical asset so the thing can unwrap properly. So I'll just show you what that means. So here I'm just going to quickly grab this guy. I'm going to show the edges here. Right. So I'm just going to click the soften edges. So I'll hide the edges again here. So everything is soft. And I'm also just going to give it a planar map for demonstration purposes. So it's got like kind of useless UVs. And now I think I still have it selected. Yeah, I still have it selected. I'm just going to hide these so we can see what happens. And now I'm going to click the easy UVs button. And it's going to go and do the normals and cut along them and give me the UVs and then auto seam it. 
Now, if I did the exact same thing, so here I'm going to put the planar map back through. If I did the exact same thing, but I didn't have the auto cut UV seams on, watch what happens. I'm going to do the easy UVs again and see it's going to give me this junk. It's all stuck together, and that's because it couldn't actually unwrap the model because, see, there's no seams on the cylindrical parts of the asset, right? So that's probably why you want that by default. So we'll turn that on, click the button again. And then boom, and then we there we get our unwrap, and you can clearly see it's chosen a pretty good auto seam. Not great. It goes from there to there, but then it switches over here, which is probably not what you want. So you want to do some cleanup work there later. So the rest of the options are pretty self-explanatory, but we'll just kind of go through them here. So I'm going to turn off the checker just so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to hide the edges. I'm going to soften the whole thing there. So you've got the UVs by angle. Then you could say keep normals. So it's not going to do the normals, but it is going to do your UVs. We just looked at the cut auto seams. So let's, if we turn on the keep normals and we do the same thing, get the uvs sorry it didn't look like anything happened because i didn't actually do anything you'll still get the uvs cut on the 30 degree but it's going to leave your normals alone then there was a request to actually cut normals or create uvs by hard edges instead of angle so if we turn this off and turn this guy on and i'm going to turn off the seams let's say put a planar map through and we'll do the easy uvs so we've kept our normal C. It's totally like busted or whatever. So I'm going to give it, let's say, grab that guy. I'm going to harden that edge. So now we've got like a cut there. And I'm going to click the same button, the easy UVs. And then see, we're going to start to get this. And so if you wanted to unwrap your mesh, another one there and just like harden the edge if you wanted to unwrap your mesh by hard edges rather than UV shell cuts, there's a tool in there to do that as well. So you can see we can kind of whatever, keep adding to it. It's probably this bottom one here. Let's just harden that. And then, whoops, where's that edge? I can't see it. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, we can just do the face. Select the face and then go hard. Okay, so we've got some hard edges there. So we'll easy UVs it. And there you go, kind of so on and so forth. I won't bother wasting your time cleaning up the rest of it. So what's really neat is you can kind of mix and match all these options at different times to get different unwrapping results all in one click. And if you want to reset the tool to default, if you forget what the default was, you can just come up here and click the button again and it'll reset it to default. So I'm just going to show my edges so I can see what I'm doing. And at any point, you can use the exit tool to get out of any component mode that you're in and switch back to object mode. So that's kind of nice as well. So probably the one that you're going to want to use the most is like, let's just do a UVs by angle and see what we get here, plus like auto seams or whatever. Actually, let's turn off auto seams and just do a UVs by angle. So click it. Okay, and so we get that. I'm going to turn the checker back on as well, just so we can see what we're doing. So because we turned off the auto seams, we don't have any seams here. And so we've got a couple different options if we wanted to put a seam down there and get our cut. So we could go auto seams. We could say UVs by hard edges, or we could say keep current seams. So we could actually, what this text box does is it actually keeps the current UV border edges. So we could either put a cut in the actual UV shell, or we could just make a hard edge and do it that way. So I'll just come down here and enter the 3D cut and sew tool. And let's just add our seam here. Uh, it looks like I have to do it kind of one at a time because it's got those border edge things. So let's add a seam there, 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 there. Sure, that looks pretty good. And then I'll just exit this guy. And then we will want to do this. Plus, we are going to keep the current seams, the current seams being everything that we've got the white highlight on. So let's click the button. And boom, there we go. So it kept that seam. So let me just turn off checker and we will hide the edges. So that's another way that you can kind of add the seam where you want it instead of using the auto seams. But I mean, do it however you like, whatever you feel comfortable with. All the options are there. You can kind of create any type of combination of how you like to unwrap all kind of wound into this single button press. Another button that I was asked to add in is just the hardened UV border edge for normal map baking. So I'm just going to take this current thing and just soften everything. And so if you click this guy, it's just going to find all the UV border edges of what you already have laid out and just harden those edges. So if you click that, you get that. So that can be handy as well. Just going to reset the tool here one more time. So probably the way that I would actually recommend using this workflow would be to let's just reset that there. It would be to let's turn this checker map guy on. I'm going to show the edges so I can see what I'm doing. It would probably be to just throw the auto plus auto cut on there. That's probably the most common. It's going to throw that guy on there. It's going to generate the normals for me. It's going to randomly cut the seam and then it's going to lay out and unfold and everything. The problem with that is some of the results that you're going to get are kind of ugly. Like 
some of these uh, donut shapes have a cut in them because of the auto seam and some of the auto seam stuff is shifted and you don't want that. So from there, that's when I would enter the 3D cut and sew tool and I would just hold control and double tap that guy to get him back in. I'll just hit like unwrap. And then let's see, that seam is all good. I'm gonna, you know, control click that guy, unwrap, let's say that guy. I'll just press G now instead of hitting unwrap to save some time. Same with that guy, right? Press G on that guy. And what do we got? Seam up here, seam here. I don't like that as well. Press G. And then I don't like this donut being split either. So press G one more time. And in fact, I wanna get rid of this guy also. And sure, let's do this as well. Oh, I'm going to have to hold control and go around here. Let's weld that guy back in. I'm going to weld that in. That, 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 that. And this, 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 this. Press G one more time. Okay, cool. Oh, and we've got some funky stuff happening here, which is because I think we forgot to put a seam. Yep. So double click. Press G. There we go. Fix that one. And then this guy's still split. Oh, that's this right here. Control, click, and then G. Right, so you can quickly clean up and get a nice auto unwrap in one click using whatever settings you want. And then you can kind of fix it up a little bit to your taste or however you like to unwrap. But then I found once you get to this stage, it's kind of lame like that this guy's kind of curly. Maybe you want to like have that be grittified and straightened out. And or maybe this is like a really wasteful UV shell, you want to scale that down or whatever. The problem is, is that if you do anything to these, like let's say I scale this guy down or whatever, and then I click the unwrap button again, it kind of goes back to the way it was. And so even if I come in here and like, you know, whatever, try to fix this up and straighten it out and, you know, doesn't really matter. But every time that I run the tool to unwrap, see it all kind of goes back and that's because it's trying to automatically create the best UVs for you, which is cool up until a point and then you want to have manual control to fix up the last little things that the algorithm just won't do right for you. So I've actually added tools into the toolbox to allow you to hand tweak it once you get past a certain point. So once you're ready to say, okay, I'm not going to use the easy UVs anymore and I'm not going to use the 3D cut and so I just want to kind of finalize these and lay them out how I want to, then you can kind of move on to this section down here. So I've added a button for unfold UVs and straighten UV and straighten shell. And so where that's going to help me is when you get little minor errors like this, you can see on this guy, it's kind of wonky. See, it kind of went meh right there in the corner. And I don't like that. I want that to be nicer. So you can just click unfold UV on that guy and boom, it goes right back. But now the problem with that is as soon as I click unwrap again, it goes meh and it goes back to the, like the ugly looking one. And so why that's happening is because when we click the unwrap button, it's doing an unfold UVs uh, horizontally and then vertically, and then it's trying to spin, rotate them, and then it's trying to scale them to all be uniform. There are two types of unfold UVs in Maya. There's like one that makes things look good for curvy shapes and there's one that makes things look good for straight shapes and so I'm using the straight one and it's getting me all these nice cylinders for free with the easy UVs but it's messing up these curvy shaped ones so when you're finalizing stuff you can come in here grab this guy unfold him maybe we'll unfold him maybe there's something weird going on there no these ones actually look okay we'll unfold those guys oh that one got a little bit of fix and then you can come here and you can turn the unfolding off and so it's just going to leave all the shells alone but it's still going to scale and rotate them so it's still going to get this guy and even his texel density out so here we're going to unwrap and then see, we get still the nice round one, but it's still scaling these back up and it's still rotating them. So let's move on to working on this guy. So first I'm just gonna grab this as a really ugly shape and let's do an unfold UV. So we got even a worse curvy shape or whatever. So, oops, just gonna move that up here so we can see what we're doing. So I would like to have this be straight. So I'm gonna grab the, whoops, the middle edge here and I'm gonna click the straighten shell. And so that'll give me almost a straight shell. Then I'm going to grab all the UVs of that and I'm going to click straighten UV. And then boom. So now we've got a nice, great shape there. And now if we click unwrap because we turned off the unfolding, it's going to maintain the nice shape that I made there. So we'll click unwrap and then boom, it's going to scale and spin it. So all the texel density is matched up. But now I get to keep my nice square shape that I made so I can continue finalizing my UVs. So I'm kind of done with this now, but... Maybe I don't like the rotation of these guys, and I really don't like that I'm wasting all this texture space on something that's maybe not even going to be seen. So at this point, we can turn off the spin and scale option, 
and I can scale this guy down. So something smaller like that and click unwrap and you'll see he stays small. And then maybe I want to grab this guy. Oops, I can just double click and we can uh, rotate him using the spin stuff here. That's spin right and this is spin left. So spin that guy and then do the unwrap again and see he's going to stay spun instead of trying to go back to the other direction. So same with this guy and then unwrap. And then again, you could scale some stuff up. You could scale some stuff down. Maybe you want a little bit more resolution on that guy. Scale him up and then it's going to stay bigger. And so you can now with the tool, instead of getting kind of like, oh, I've got some UVs that I can start then working on my UV map. Now you can get your UVs in one click. You can tune them a little bit with 3D Cut and Sew. And then you can go in and you can fine tune them to actually create a final unwrap for your final model with all the custom tweaks that you want. So I think that's pretty cool. Now it's kind of like an all-in-one tool. You don't have to have like 10 other tools open at the same time. So I hope you guys like the new changes to the tool. And then that just leaves this one final tick box here. So what this guy does, I have it off by default and um, I wouldn't really use it that much, but you might find a situation where you might want it. Before I was talking about, there's two different ways to unfold. Here, I'm just gonna turn the unfolding and everything back on and we're just gonna click the button and kind of go back to like where we were or whatever. So we've got this guy and it's unfolding like that and that's it's terrible. It's not even even shape. And then this guy's kind of wonky. But then these cylindrical shapes turned out really good. So that's what I consider to be the straight unfolding. Here's the curvy unfolding. That's basically clicking this button on everything. So we'll click that again. And so we got a nice round one this time and we got a nice round one this time. But what you'll find sometimes is that these will start to get really curvy. So here, let's just try to do it. easy UVs and see what, what comes out. Yeah, so see here. See, now it's starting to get curvy and this guy's like slightly curvy and these guys are like really curvy and that's really curvy. Whereas if you turn the curvy off and you do the easy UVs or the layout, so you get a lot of the cylinders for free. So it's kind of like, take your pick, which one do you like worse? Like, is your model kind of more mechanical or is it kind of more organic? So you can pick between the two. So when you're doing your first easy UVs, I would say, you know, try it once by default. And if everything's looking good, you're good. But if everything is like looking awful like this, then you can try um, this guy. Whoops, sorry. You can try this guy and see what you get with the curvy. And same with the unwrapping. Basically, when you click the easy UVs, it does all this stuff and then it runs the unwrap tool on the result. And so like when you have all of these guys turned on, it's going to do this plus this. An easy way to see what's actually happening behind the scenes is if you were to turn off unfolding, spin, scale, curved, auto seams, and UV by angle, and then click easy UVs. So basically what you're going to get is an automatic map, and that's the basis for everything in the recipe. So it's an automatic map plus this plus this, if that makes sense. So for example, if we were going to add in like, I don't know, let's add in, uh, let's just add in unfolding. And we did the easy UVs. You can see these guys started to get kind of curvy because they're being unfolded because it, I think of easy UVs as automatic map plus all these tick boxes, plus all of these tick boxes. So if we turned on the spin and scale and did the same thing, yeah, see, we'll start to see some of them rotate because it's trying to rotate them for the best fit. And if we turned on this, we would start to see some stuff maybe get more curvy. And, and when we start turning on this stuff, kind of so on and so forth. So pretty cool stuff. If you've already purchased the full script pack or the UV mapping pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the UV mapping pack, or you can get it in the full script pack. So take your pick. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you like this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad free. See you next time. Have a tremendous day.